haven't seen a lot of comments like this, but to me, this is just a user error because I've been here. Some of y'all don't know me. Some of y'all do know me. So who is Nike Finesse? Who's the famous people I've met and how I got started? But really, really fast, so walk with me. Started off making mom bits like this. Uh, what are you doing? You will never see these videos. Straight cooked. Cheeks even. They was the start of this though, I ain't gonna lie. They definitely was the start. Then the white man reached out to me. He go by the name of Tim. You see my videos. Then he said, hey dude, love your bits. You're funny. Come stay with me in LA for a little while. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Tim, that's kind of shaky, bro. Not in today's world, bro. But my handicap dad went. Took two weeks off my job. Flew to LA. Soon as we touched down, we immediately got to go to a red carpet event. And it was hosted by Zeus Network. Fuck. We RSVP on the list, so you know we had to walk that red carpet, you feel me? I'm not even playing when I tell y'all I bought this shirt from Macy's. The whole outfit, actually. And then returned it. I couldn't return the hat because I sweated a lot, though. The house is beautiful. I think it was at King Batch House. Not too sure. There I met some of these dope people. I'm not going to lie, y'all. They showed me so much love. They did. And I didn't even have 10K yet. And they just treated me like I was just anybody. And at that moment, I knew. I'm like, okay, okay. This is a vibe. Shout out to Tim. Too bad you trash at Multiverse. Afterwards, we filmed. I stayed there the whole time. Cool. Fly home back to Ohio. Soon as I touch down, I call up my job. Hey, I ain't going to lie to y'all, oh, man. This may come as a complaint. Complete and utter shock to you, but yeah, I, I don't think this this mattress stuff is, is really for me. Like my nigga, I was just at King Batch House, so um, now it's grind time. But what I started to realize is my wallet had the meanest growl to it. Like I can feel it in the pit of the bottom of the soles of my shoe. Now during the journey where I'm losing all my money, I grow a strong bond with these two imbeciles. But now I gotta move back in with my mom, AKA Buki. But the show must go on, so I'm still grinding. Then COVID happened. And in all seriousness, if uh, you lost anybody or someone to COVID, uh, my condolences to you. But this ain't one of them videos. COVID saved my life. <laughs> but now since the world has shut down, everybody on their phone. Meaning, this is the time to get on social media. So me and a couple like-minded imbeciles, who I call brothers, decided to move in together and start a content house. Being a creator, I got a chance to be on TV. I got a chance to be on a show called Mayor of Kingstown on Paramount Plus. I've met some insane athletes. I truthfully be told I think I'm 5'11, but everyone around me seems to think that I'm 6'1. I'm not. But look at these two on the end. They're hunched over. Yeah, y'all get it. I definitely think I'd give KJ to work, though. I think the most fire moment for me would be talking to Da Vinci and Maurice, which shout out to Goldilocks for introducing me to Maurice. I can say this now, but I knew about BMF before y'all knew about BMF. But all in all, those of y'all who've been asking what I've been up to, that's what I've been up to. So now, what y'all been up to? Ah